Hello, friends. Learning is a hobby here. Uh, I wanted to make kind of a, a, a sequence of special videos uh, to celebrate some milestones that the channel has uh, reached. Uh, I've finally uh, made uh, over 100 videos on the channel, which I can't believe. Uh, and also, uh, a, a couple months ago, uh, I the channel received over, you know, we, we passed the thousand su subscriber mark, which uh, I want to thank you guys for. Uh, and, you know, I, when I started this channel, I never thought I would even get a single viewer, let alone more than a thousand. Um, and I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content. I'm certainly enjoying making it. Uh, but I wanted to give do something special for you guys, something fun for me as well. Um, I know that I, I sort of Put a pause on my bookshelf videos, but I want to go over some uh, of some more of my bookshelves here uh, in this video, uh, specifically uh, four bookshelves that I haven't gone over yet. Uh, these are not actually going to be math books. These are some of my gaming books. Uh, it, uh, somebody on the channel, when I suggested it, um, doing this type of video said that they wanted to see it. So uh, I, I'll be excited to, to show you guys. Um, so this will be something, like I said, a little bit different because I don't know how many of you guys are, are into um, playing board games, but um, it's one of my other like big hobbies. Uh, not that I'm good at them, but I, I enjoy playing them. So mainly uh, I play backgammon and, and um, uh, chess. So I have a, a lot of backgammon and chess books, uh, which I'm going to... In this video, I'm going to go over my backgammon books, uh, but I also have a smattering of books on Go and um, some other variants of chess like Jangi and um, uh, Shogi and things like that. So I'll, I'll go over these, uh, my gaming shelves, uh, show you my gaming books. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you do enjoy playing backgammon or chess down in, in the uh, comments. Um, so this video will be the backgammon books. And then uh, I have two shelves of chess books so the next two videos will be on uh my chess books and then the, the last one will be on you know the the other the collection of other gaming books that i have so uh let's get started let's jump right in and like i said let me know what you think down below or if you have any other recommendations for for books that you don't see on my shelf and uh yeah i'm, I'm excited this is gonna be fun so let me let me turn the camera around and we can get started Okay, so here's my backgammon books. Uh, I'm going to have to scooch past the, the camera here so I can get around, around to them over here. And I'm going to be careful with the wires so I don't mess up the sound. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. So... Like I said, this whole chef, uh, shelf is um, backgammon books. Uh, let me take off, like I usually do, the ones that are sort of on top here, and I'll go over those um, towards the end of the video. And we'll start with the ones that are actually on the bookshelf itself to begin. I'll just put these on the side for now. Oh, just bear with me. Okay, so I guess I'll go from left to right, um, starting with a series of books that I have here, which are written by Chris Bray. Um, they're called, uh, oh, actually, this is not part of the series, but this is another book by Chris Bray. Um, let me grab them out of here and I'll talk about them at the same time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Right, things are not going well already, guys. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think there's one of them I have over here, too. No. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. So um, this is a book by, by Chris Bray. Um, if you don't know, Chris Bray um, wrote, uh, had, had a, uh, a blog about um, uh, backgammon, and he has a, a whole like bunch of volumes on his collected articles so this is one of them this is backgammon an independent view um and he has these are the volumes uh that sort of go like one into the other 
Um, so the first one is called What Color is the Wind? Again, these, this is a bunch of uh, Chris Bray's articles on, on backgammon. So maybe just to give you a sense of what is in the book. Um, again, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if the table of contents will show up on my camera, but um, so here he has a, like, it's a bunch of advice on like, you know, uh, different positions and uh, strategies and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I could read all these out on the camera, but um, like I said, it's a collection of his articles and then there's a bunch of them. So you have Second Wind, which is the second volume. Um, backgammon in the wind. So they all have like this, you know, this theme of like in the wind, <laughs> uh, wind assisted, uh, the, the wind of change. And then finally the final wind. So these are all, like I said, a collection of Chris Bray's writings on backgammon. And you can, um, if you're interested in these, you can actually go to Chris Bray's website and you can order them directly from, uh, from Chris. Uh, I'll leave the link to that in the, uh, description bar if you're interested. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, our next uh, couple things are um, some volumes that go together as well. Um, this is Backgammon Praxis. There's volume one and volume two. This one is by Marty Storer. Uh, I think you can get these. Uh, the, I don't know if you could see this with the light, the glare. Is that a little bit better? No. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's going to have to be good enough. Um, so this is by uh, Marty Storer. Uh, the the matches of Malcolm da Davis uh, versus Marty Storer in volume two, and also Malcolm Davis versus Frank Talbot. Uh, and in volume one, Malcolm Davis versus Ed O'Loughlin. Um, so these these are like I said, uh, there's volume one and volume two. You, uh, I think you could get these off of Amazon. Uh, if not, uh, I'll leave again a link down below in the description bar where you can find them. All right, this is another two volume series by uh, Bob Wachtel, um, the Backgammon Chronicles, a prose uh, adventure on tour and adventures on tour. So these is, are not necessarily, even though there is some advice about backgammon. Um, this is let me put them in order. This is the green one is volume one and the blue one is volume two. Uh, they're mainly sort of like uh, uh, Bob's, um, you know, stories about him being, uh, you know, uh, going to backgammon tournaments and so on. Um, so there's two volumes. Uh, like I said, there's some backgammon advice in there as well, but it's really sort of more like a cultural thing for, you know, if you're into backgammon and uh, you want to see what backgammon was like, you know, back before the modern times. Uh, th there's some great stories in here. Um, these, I think you could definitely get off of uh, Amazon. All right, next three are also um, go together. Uh, these are by uh, Bill Roberti. Um, there's three volumes here. I th I think he meant this to be a four volume series, but volume four has not come out yet. Right now there's only three volumes. So you have volume one, which is how to play the opening in backgammon. Um, volume two, how to play the opening in backgammon. Uh, sorry, the, let me read the subscripts. Part one, a new way of thinking. Part two, everything matters. And then how to play the opening of backgammon volume three, order from chaos. Uh, these you can get off of um, Roberti's own Backgammon website, which I'll also post down in the description below. So these all cover, uh, these three books all cover just the opening, uh, you know, strategies for, for you know, when you get different roles uh, and his, uh, I guess, his philosophy about how you should, you know, when you should make certain moves. So uh, I haven't had a chance to read all of these yet, but I've gone through a portion of the first volume so far. It's uh, a very good book. Okay, next one is another book by Bob Watchtell, and actually there's two volumes for this, and volume one is uh, one of these pamphlets, where is it, here we go, 
So uh, in the game, and, whoop, in the game until the end, winning ace point end games, which is something I <laughs> find very difficult to do. Um, back games are and uh, back games are um, one of my weaknesses. Uh, I, I guess they're probably everybody's weakness. But uh, and then volume two in the game until the end, ace point and end game analysis, the next generation. So these are both on on you know sort of like back games, how you play like back games. Um, these I think you could also get off of, if I remember, I think I got these off of uh, Bill Roberti's website. So like I said, I'll put the, the link to that below. All right, uh, these also I got off of Roberti's website, uh, How to Play uh, Tournament Backgammon by Kit Woolsey. So there's a bunch of Kit Woolsey's books that you can get from uh, Roberti's website. Um, Backgammon, Master versus Amateur, Volume 1, again by Kit Woolsey. And uh, the Backgammon Enc Encyclopedia, Volume 2, uh, more cube reference positions. Uh, this is a, a book, I just want to talk just for a minute about this one. Um, I've been trying hard for for like over a year to find volume one but it doesn't seem to be available anywhere um like even if you look for used copies and so on it's it's very difficult to find uh, i guess it's out of print uh but you can still get volume two um i wish i had volume one but like i said i don't i don't know maybe maybe at some point in the future uh roberti will find a way to to uh off be able to offer volume one on his website again uh but Right now, you can get volume two off of uh, off of his website. Uh, this is also by Kit Woolsey. Um, but like I said, right now, it seems like you can only get volume two. Um, hopefully that changes, though, and, and volume one will be made av available at some point. Um, <clears throat> right. Next three are game uh, collections. So here there's... Uh, Mika Lidov, is this in, can you see this in camera? Mika Lidov versus uh, Hal Heinrich. Uh, this is also written by Kit Woolsey. Um, the, the nice thing about this book is uh, they, he leaves you like space for annotation and stuff while you're reading through the games. Uh, so you can, you know, you can write your notes here on the side. And there's three game collections that you can get off of, um, off of Roberti's website. There's that one. So uh, Mika Lidov versus Hal Heinrich. There's uh, Greiner versus uh, Mormorstein. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, right uh, correctly. And there's Joe Sylvester versus Nack Ballard. Um, and uh, they're all, the, all of these books are by Kit Woolsey. So these are neat for game collections if you want to study, you know, master games. All right, next one is a recent publication. Uh, I think you can get this off of um, you can get this off of Amazon nowadays. Uh, Backgammon, back game strategies by Alex Ashagian. Again, back, like I said, back games are my uh, uh, my weakness. And then there's a nice uh, a picture of a of the uh, one of the the beautiful boards offered by um, FM Gammon. Um, I think this is a version of the Earth board, maybe from Backgammon Galaxy. Um, you should check out their their website because they have some beautiful boards there if you can afford them. They're kind of pricey, but uh, yeah. So this is on on back game strategy. Uh, it's a nicely done book. Um, so in black and white, but you have nice big pictures, which is good, and the writing is large enough for someone with uh, eyesight that's bad like mine, uh, which can't be said about all of these gaming books that I have. Uh, the next couple are some some. Uh, famous books. I think I want to leave the historical ones for uh, a little bit later. Um, I have another book by Kit Woolsey here, uh, New Ideas in Backgammon by Kit Woolsey. I think he wrote this at the beginning of the the computer era for for Backgammon uh, when you know computer engines for Backgammon were just starting to you know. Uh, be good enough to use uh, to analyze games. So you know, had things like um, I don't know what are they called, Snowy, and the one that that everybody uses today basically is uh, um, XG Extreme Gammon. Um, and if you want to get into backgammon, I would suggest uh, getting a subscription to XG because uh, it's a really helpful learning tool. 
Uh, but this is was written like at the beginning of that sort of era. So uh, I don't know if the the analysis that are in here would would um, would change or not if you you know looked at them in um, uh, in XG. But uh, it's still, I think, I, I've heard worth reading. I haven't actually made my way through this one yet, but uh, it, it's an interesting one. Kit Wolsey is a, you know, has a lot of interesting books on, on backgammon. All right, this is an, another famous one, uh, Backgammon Boot Camp by Walter Treese. Um, you know, this is one that you always hear people recommending. Um, so there's a, you know, a bunch of... Uh, problems and and uh strategies and stuff that are that he goes over in here uh that's a good one uh the next book is the first book that i bought on backgammon when i was first starting to learn which is this one conquering backgammon a path to advanced play by ed rosenblum this is a fantastic book let me just show you some of the the nice features that it has so it has um uh a lot of information like you know like a math book would have like formulas and stuff in the in the front cover and, and in the back cover uh he has that here so um he has some some information here uh in the front cover and also in the back cover you have some tables some probability tables and so on uh and then the the book is done really nicely uh the it's um his explanations are really uh, clear and good for beginners, and it's the the diagrams are nice and big, and they're actually in color. So, and the writing is large too, so it's it's easier for someone like I said with eyesight that's not so good. It's easy to read them, uh, and I believe this this one uh, uses XG for its analysis. So, this one I definitely recommend. Um, like I said, this was the first book I got on backgammon. Uh, the next three. I'll do together because they're three volume set. Uh, and these have become like super famous uh, lately. They're, they, they're only about a year old. They were published about a year ago or two, maybe a year and a half ago by um, uh, Michihito uh, Kageyama, um, who uh, is a, you know, a very good backgammon player. Um, there's these three volumes. You have opening concepts, end game technique, and back checker strategy, uh, all three of which I would recommend picking up. Um, I would say, you know, after you get an introductory book, these are these and the the three Roberti books on the opening, I would say those are the books that you should read um, right after you, you know, learn how, like the rules of the game and, and so on. Um, so yeah, these are fantastic. Uh, I I think these are probably uh, these three volumes here are probably three of the best books I think that have been written on backgammon um, ever. <laughs> uh, I have another classic. Uh, this is classic backgammon revisited by Jeremy Paul Bagai. Again, if you want to um, you know go through some some interesting puzzles. Uh, the next one is actually, uh, a, I would say this is a historical backgammon book, but actually it's still worth reading today for for what it you know what it contains. This is called the I mean, this is referred to as the Bible of backgammon. Uh, it's but written by Paul Magriel, who was uh, one of the first people to sort of um, like mathematize the game so mathematize the analysis of the game so he real uh paul magrill like sort of changed the the whole way that um backgammon was played and and taught and so on uh so this this book if you if you want to get into backgammon uh this is a must have and a must read um you could get new copies for for relatively cheap i think i got this one for like 20 dollars off of amazon uh if you buy like older editions they can be more expensive because they're i guess they're, they're like collector's items so um okay next two are by the same author by paul this is by paul lamford starting out in backgammon and improve your backgammon uh one of the things that i like about these two books is he goes a little bit more in depth on the the mathematics behind uh the, the moves and everything, which is interesting. Um, then I have a, a book by uh, Peter Bell, Backgammon, Winning with the Dublin Cube. The Dublin Cube is also another aspect of the game that I really need to work on. <laughs> um, I've heard mixed things about this book. Uh, I haven't gone through it yet, um, 
but I've heard some people say that the, uh, because it was written, I, I guess, I don't know if it was written before the, the computer age or not, but uh, first book from Gavin Press devoted entirely to the proper use of doubling cube. Uh, it doesn't say. I, I'm I'm not actually sure if if uh, he used computers to analyze uh, the the uh, the cubing decisions in this this book. But I've heard some people say that it's fantastic, and I've heard some people say that it's you know waste of time. You shouldn't read it. Um, but you can get it off of Bill Roberti's website, and I have it. And since you know the doubling cube is a weakness of mine, I could use all the help that I can get. So um, next book is a very recent one. Uh, which is by uh, Mark Olson and Masiaka Mochizuki, um, known at, in the backgammon community as Mochi, who is probably the best backgammon player in the world right now, and probably that has ever existed uh, so far. Um, this is Masterclass by, back, uh, by um, like I said, those two authors. Uh, you can get this off of Backgammon Galaxy, um, either as a PDF or you can get a physical copy. Uh, and this is um, a bunch of lectures that were given by Mochi, Mochi and uh, Mark Olson uh, during a, a, a tournament um, at some point, or I think they did they did these lectures actually at several tournaments, um, and uh, some of them have to do uh, deal with uh, the cube uh, cube. Some of them have to do with back games, and actually, let me see. <clears throat> The first lecture looks like it's on uh, priming versus blitzing, so strategic visualization, uh, game plan dynamics, backgammon strategy, cube action in undefined uh, positions, closing words. Yeah, and that's it. But um, I, I wish Mo Mochi would write uh, some more books on backgammon uh, in the English language. He does have some books in written in Japanese, but... Um, I don't, I don't read Japanese, unfortunately. Um, so uh, it would be nice if someone would maybe translate those or if he would, you know, write uh, some books in, in English, which would be fantastic. But he's busy playing backgammon, so. <laughs> All right, next one is uh, another book I would recommend. This is also by Kit Woolsey, 52 Great uh, uh, Backgammon Tips at Home Tournament and Online. Um, this is a good one to bring, you know, on the train if you're, going to work back and forth or if you're traveling or something because it's what it, exactly what it says 52 great backgammon tips so you know each tip is like he goes over like in a couple of pages and there's like a position that deals with that um a position or two that deals with that tip and you know you can solve solve those puzzles uh to you know get see test your knowledge on on the tip that he's giving uh this is like i said this one i definitely recommend it's pretty cheap and and it's good you know travel reading uh, because you can read only you know read them a page or two at a time okay another famous book by paul by uh, bill roberti uh 501 essential backgammon problems uh it's basically just a, a problem book so he has a bunch of positions and you got to figure out what the the best uh move is um so, you know, there's very few backgammon books that are like this. I wish there were more problem books that you can buy. Like, there's so many that you can get for um, for chess uh, or even like game collections would be nice, too. But uh, the the uh, literature for backgammon is not uh, as, you know, as large as it is for chess because chess is more popular, I guess, than backgammon. But uh, this is one of the problem books that you can get, which is, I would say, required reading as well. All right, next few books are also by Mark Olson. All right, let me do these in a specific, uh, oh, sorry. I'll hold off on this one. These three are by Mark Olson. Uh, so back, the Backgammon from Basics to Badass is his introductory book to Backgammon. I would say this is probably one of the first books you should buy if you want to get into the game. Um, so this is written for beginners, and he basically explains all the stuff that you need to know to get started. So he starts all the way from, like, you know, how to play the game, and then he goes through the main, you know, strategies that you use. He goes over opening, uh, you know, fundamental opening concepts and game stuff, and you know, so he 
uh, he goes over all the, the basics that you need to know. So this is, I would say this one also should be a, a must read. And then he has two other books as well. Uh, he has Cube Like a Boss, which obviously is about the cube, um, Intuition Patterns and Strategy. I would say this would be, this should be uh, not even your second book. I would say hold off on this for, for a while. And Pure pure Strategy, I would say, uh, if you're going to read this, this is very mathematical, this one. If you're going to read this one, I would say, you know, this should be, you know, well down the line because it's it's meant for advanced players. Um, but definitely this one, I would say, if you if you haven't played backgammon at all and you want to get into the game, this is definitely a, a, a good one to start with. Okay, another, um, I have another nice, um, whoop, nice puzzle book here written by James Vogel. Backgammon Super Genius Quiz, take on 12 of the best, then get insight into their thinking. So there's a bunch, basically what this is, there's a bunch of puzzles, uh, you know, that you have to solve and you get to see the solution um, given by a, a master player and they explain, you know, why the move is what it should be. Um, so again, this is a good way to, to practice. <clears throat> All right, next book is by Nick Blazier, who, uh, if you ever watch backgammon tournaments, he's, uh, Nick Blazier is uh, often uh, one of the commentators. Uh, he's a very entertaining commentator, if you, if you like watching backgammon tournaments, if you're weird like me. <laughs> um, adjusting to match play. So here, uh, this book uh, talks about... Um, adjusting from playing either money games or single games to playing matches uh when you're playing matches for you know for more than uh, a single point um you're and, and also money games which are sort of you know uh you play you can play an unlimited amount of games but uh there's no like ending you know ending point for when one person wins you either win one game or or the next or, you know, whatever, uh, and you play for money. But um, in all three of those situations, if you're playing a single game, a money game, or a match uh, match game, your, um, your strategy changes. So here, this book is on <clears throat> uh, adjusting to match play. So if you, you know, what, what do you need to know uh, in order to get better at playing matches? Um, so, you know, he talks about the strategy of it and everything. Uh, and then last few books here on the shelf and then I'll talk about I have a bunch of older books that I that I have um, that are more like collector's items I guess but this is the first book you should buy if you're a uh, a complete newbie to um, to backgammon I would say buy Mark Olson's book uh, back from uh, from badass uh, basics to badass and backgammon for losers by Simon Hill um, this book made a lot of things click for me when I first started playing backgammon. Um, I would say this this should be your your first read. This is the very first thing you should read, and then you could either a lot at the same time or you know after you read that one, you could read Mark Olson's book. Um, these two books, if you read them, you know when you're first starting out, you'll you'll have a nice foundation built up, and you can move on to some of the more advanced books. Um, actually, after these two, I would say you should probably read. Um, uh, Michi's book, three books, um, and then go on to uh, Roberti's three books. But that's m just my opinion. Um, so yeah, Backgammon for Losers by Simon Hill. Recommend that one. And then I have, let's see, there's another Bob Watch Tell book. Uh, this is not really a book on, on Backgammon itself. It's more a book on the... Uh, it's like a dictionary almost. It's uh, the it's called the language of backgammon, a player's dictionary. Uh, there's a lot of lingo in backgammon, so you know it could be a little bit intimidating when you first start playing uh, to learn like what all the things mean. So there's a lot of words that you might not have heard of um, that refer to different things in the game. So this this book basically just defines all of the terms from from uh, you know that you'll hear. It, in backgammon. Uh, so this is a, a handy tool to have because, you know, if you want to know what something means, like double tiger, um, which uh, actually is something that was coined by Michi, um, <clears throat> and all these, you know, other things, equity, what does equity mean? What does a prime mean? 
uh, what's a blot, what, you know, all these different words that you, that you uh, need to know when you're talking about backgammon. So yeah, this is, it's a relatively cheap book, I, I, if I recall, um, but it's definitely worth having on your bookshelf uh, if you're starting, just starting out in backgammon, because when you're reading, you know, when you're reading uh, uh, the books and, you know, they talk about a bunch of different, you know, uh, things like what's a point, what's a, you know, he has some of them written on here. So when, what's the, the notion of timing mean in a backgammon game? So these are all important concepts. Um, <clears throat> and then the last two books I have here, you can also get off of Backgammon Galaxy. These are by some famous players as well. Uh, the Zika Method. Uh, dominating backgammon through storytelling by Zednik uh, Ziska, who was a student of um, a famous backgammon player who went by the moniker of um, Falafel, who uh, sadly passed away um, relatively recently. Um, and this is, I haven't read this one yet, but this is supposed to be a pretty, pretty good book. Uh, and then there's uh, this book by um, Jacob Rice, Holding Game Guru, uh, cube mastery and holding games, holding games, back games, those uh, those types of games are uh, waiting games are are some uh, are you know my weaknesses. So uh, again, I can use any help that I that I can, and especially with the cube. Okay, the next bunch of books are I think they're actually some of them are relatively new, but uh, some of them are very very uh, old books that I have just for. The backgammon culture. So let me actually grab the new ones so that I can go over the the uh, collectors ones all at the same time. Um, so just bear with me for a second. Okay. So um, this is a recent book, uh, the backgammon gourmet. Recipes and Position Analysis <clears throat> by Eight Master Chefs and Players, um, compiled by Phyllis Shapiro. Uh, this is another sort of like problem book or puzzle book. Um, it's interesting too, because not only it's, uh, so the, you get to hear the uh, analysis done by, you know, a bunch of famous players, but also in addition to that, they give like recipes, like literal cooking recipes <laughs> that I guess are, you know, one of their favorite recipes, which is kind of funny. Um, this is a, a relatively recent book. Um, so again, you know, puzzle books are, are rare in back in the backgammon literature. So when I find one, you gotta, you gotta scoop it up. A um, couple more books by Chris Bray. All right, uh, Backgammon to Win by Chris Bray. And then he, believe it or not, he also wrote a Backgammon for Dummies, which uh, don't let the, the, the publisher throw you off this is suppose i haven't read it yet but this is uh, one that comes very highly recommended from people uh, apparently he uh this is a, an extremely good beginner book um so back in for dummies by chris bray uh and then this is another like i said another um sort of uh i guess you can think of it as like a beginner book on backgammon um by by chris bray and then i have two more books by bill roberti So there's Backgammon for Winners and Backgammon for Serious Players. You can get both of these off of Roberti's website. Um, this book, Backgammon for Winners, uh, the book that I mentioned here, Backgammon for Losers, the title for, here is a play on Roberti's Backgammon for Winners, uh, just as a side note. Um, so these are also, again, um, sort of meant for beginning players. And it exp explains, um, you know, all the basic stuff that you need. Uh, Roberti is a good um, teacher, so his uh, writing is worth checking out. He also has a blog too. Uh, like I said, when I post his website down below, uh, you should check out his uh, check out his blog because he has a lot of good information on there as well. Okay, so these are all the, the sort of modern ones. Now let me get into books that I have that are really, I, I wouldn't say you should read these uh, for to learn backgammon because they're kind of out of date, but uh, they're interesting for the historical, you know, the historical culture, I guess, of the game. So I'll just go th in no particular order. I'll go through them here. And I'll just take them off the top of the pile. Uh, backgammon by Captain Crawley. Um, this is, a. Uh, I wish I'd looked up what year these were written in. Um, uh, 
Backgammon Theory and Practice with Something of Its History by Captain Crawley. I'm just looking if, oh, 1858. So this one was written in 1858. Um, I got it. This is a print on demand copy that I have here. Um, I have this one as well. This is a, a, a pretty famous book, um, just hit in the historical sense. Uh, this is Backgammon, a glance into the early history and description of uh, the past times in its varied uh, and primitive forms and a treatise on the game as it's played today by Alice Howard uh, Caddy. Uh, this is in the Forgotten Books um, series, I guess, uh, and it's a reprint. So you can get this for pretty cheap uh, as a reprint. Let's see if I can see when this one was written. This one is interesting too because it has like some uh, old um, advertisements in the back of it. Let me. I'm just looking for the publication date. Just give me a second. <clears throat> this one was 1895. It looks like. Uh, let me just show you in the in the back. Uh, they have reproduced some old uh, advertisements as well, which is so so freaking cool. Uh, Corbett boxing gloves, um, skate sharpener, model engine, tennis rackets, boats, and so on. So that this is worth getting just for the old ads, I think, which is kind of neat. Uh, the Spalding bicycle. Um, okay, then I have uh, Webster's Timeline History of Backgammon from 1666 to 2006. Um, so this is it's basically what it says. It's just a timeline of uh, the development of the game. So if you don't know, Backgammon is actually a very old game. It goes back thousands of years. Uh, but the modern form of the game that we play is relatively recent. So this just gives you a sort of a breakdown of its history. And if you you know, if you're a watcher of my channel, you know that when I get interested in something, I like to learn about the history of it. Um, see, let me, I want to go from like the oldest, maybe to the, to the newest. Um, next, I guess, would be these. Let me see. Okay, so here I have... Um, on the explanation of chess and backgammon. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the names here because I'll, I'll embarrass myself. Uh, a Middle Persian text. So this is actually a very old, um, a very old book. Uh, I don't need, I don't know if it says when it was written. Sorry, I should have probably looked this information up beforehand, but this was kind of like uh, something I decided to do on a whim. Um, I, I don't know. I, I can't, uh, I'm not going to look through it to see the date, but it's a very old book. Um, so here he talks, the, the authors talk about not only back end, but also, um, I guess, a older version of chess, right? Then I have, uh, this is a, another, uh, you can, you can buy a lot of these, you know, as reproductions. This is a short treatise on the Game of Backgammon by Edmund Hoyle. Um, so again, it's, you know, a reprint of a, an old book on, on backgammon. So it's interesting to see how people played back before, you know, the, the modern sort of strategies of the game were developed. Um, does this one say, <clears throat> let me see if I can find when this one was was printed. Does it say anywhere? Oh, 1743. So this is an, this is a very old one. 1743 for this one. Um, okay, they have backgammon and uh, drafts or checkers. Sometimes checkers is called drafts. Um, mainly, I think that's a they they call checkers drafts in like Europe. Um, this is written by George Frederick Pardon. Uh, I have a bunch of books on checkers as well, but I'll. That'll be in another video. Um, so this is another, you know, book from history on the game before its modern development. Let me see if this one has a date on it. Um, 
a lot of these books I got because I was doing a series on the history of backgammon on one of my other YouTube channels. Um, yeah, I can't see the date for this one. But anyway, it's a reprint. Uh, then there's this one, Games Ancient and Oriental and How to Play Them by Edward Falconer. Uh, being the games of the ancient Egyptians, the Hierogramme of the Greeks, the Ludus uh, Latriculorum of the Romans, and the Oriental games of chess, drafts, backgammon, and magic squares. Um, Ludus Latriculorum and uh, Hierogramme, I believe, as well as uh, some of the ancient Egyptian games, I believe were precursors to backgammon. Like I said, I, I did a bunch of research on the history of backgammon because I, I have a series that I'm in the middle of on another channel where I talk about it. Um, but this is a um, a book. Uh, this also is an old book. This is not, not a recent book, but uh, it's on the, the history of backgammon as well. So you can see this is the, uh, the ancient, uh, one of the ancient Egyptian games, um, which I talk about on my other channel if you're interested. Um, and they have a lot of like nice pic pictures and stuff in here and diagrams. Um, okay, so the next batch are also kind of old, but they're more, mainly from like, let's see, I have, there was a bunch of um, sort of resurgences of backgammon in culture. Uh, the next so these are the ones I just showed you were really old, but then in the the thirties there was a research in, a resurgence of backgammon as well, twenties uh, and thirties because um, that's when the cube was invented. Um, so that that wasn't a part of the game uh, or it wasn't a nor normal part of the game until like the twenties and thirties. Um, so here I have uh, backgammon of today. Um, all, so this next batch are, are books from like the 1920s, 1930s. Um, so again, you can see nice diagrams. Again, these are way before the, the computer age. So the, the strategy in here, uh, I probably wouldn't follow <laughs> because it's probably not sound uh, or, or, you know, some of it is probably not sound. Um, Backgammon Tactics by Harold Thorne. I think this is another one that has like ads in it, which is kind of cool. Let me see, does it? Uh, maybe I'm remembering that wrong. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of inf interesting information here. He talks about etiquette of the backgammon table too, so it, which is kind of cool. Oh, and it has an introduction by Sam Sloan. Um, I'll talk about Sam Sloan late in you know, some other videos. Uh, he, I have a, a few books by him. But anyway, um, this is an old one from the 20s and 30s. There's, I, I'll go through these rel relatively quick because I haven't read through a lot of them. Uh, this is Vanity Fair's Backgammon to Win by George Mavardi with uh, Claire Booth Luce. Um, so this was put out by B Vanity Fair in like the 30s, I think. Oh, no. Oh, copyright 1974. I didn't realize this one was so recent. Um, but yeah, this is a, a book on backgammon put out in the 70s. There was a resurgence of backgammon in the 70s as well uh, because of something I'll show you in a minute. Uh, then I have this one as well, uh, Complete Backgammon by Walter Richard, a thorough guide to the game written by an expert for both the beginner and the experienced player. Um, this is... Uh, an actual copy from the 70s, I think. You can see how beat up it is. Um, let me see if it says the year. Oh, this is an old one. Sorry, this is 1940. This one was from 1940. I should probably look through <laughs> through these. Uh, like I said, mainly I have these for, for a collector, just as a collector. But um, uh, I am doing, like I said, a series on the history of backgammon. So they come in handy for that too. Okay, and the, the rest of them that I have here are from the 70s era. Um, so there's this this book, which is sort of like a famous uh, backgammon book from the 70s, Backgammon, The Cruelest Game, The Art of Winning by Barclay Cook and John, Bra John uh, Bradshaw. Again, um, this is... I think this is where the name uh, that the moniker that they give the backgammon, The Cruelest Game came from. I might be wrong about that, but uh, again... The, the the theory in this book is not probably not 
you shouldn't follow it <laughs> these days because it's this is before the computer the computer era but um it's interesting as a you know a historical uh book so you can see it's actually done really nicely there's uh, uh nice color diagrams big diagrams the words are big and so on right um i have backgammon for blood by Bruce Becker. Uh, some of these, uh, these from the seventies are really funny. Um, you, actually there's one, the next one I'm gonna show you is really funny too, uh, but you can see how intense the cover is. Uh, backgammon for blood. One backgammon book for people who really want to win. Recommend it if you're looking for a book to turn you into a winner, this is it. Uh, I probably wouldn't read this book if you want to win it back in. But uh, anyway, this is from the 70s. Uh, a lot of these guys were big players back then when, uh, like I said, when back in was making a resurgence because uh, actually back, uh, uh, Magriel's book was was uh, first published in the 70s too. And he, like I said, he kind of revolutionized the game. Uh, but that's not why there was a resurgence for backgammon in the 70s. It's because of something I'll show you in a minute. Um, but anyway, this is, um, by Bruce Becker. Uh, here's a funny one. Alpha Backgammon with an exclusive section on how to win through silver mind control. <laughs> uh, a world champion, Baron Vernon Ball. So they had, you know, they, they didn't have computers back then, but some people had some crazy ideas about backgammon strategy. This one apparently thinks you can win through mind, mind control in air quotes, whatever that means. Um, Let's see what this this uh, quote says down here by Robert Ludlum. Marvelous, the quintessential blueprint for backgammon from the pen of a master. His chapters on mind control are mind blowing. So yeah, it's kind of funny. So, but from what I haven't actually read this one, but from what I've heard, the first part of the book is actually you know pretty standard stuff for backgammon, at least back you know it during uh, that era. But then the last like third of the book is on like the mind control stuff, which would be fun to read through just to see what he has to say about it. Uh, but anyway, that, that's just a funny one. Uh, let's see. Then I have there's only a few more here. Um, I have Paradoxes and Probabilities, 168 Backgammon Problems by Barclay Cook. Uh, Barclay Cook is the one that wrote the uh, uh, The Cruelest Game. Um, I believe that a lot of the solutions to the puzzles in this book today are considered incorrect, um, but it's still interesting. You know, you could still use it as a puzzle book. It's just the, the answers you might want to, you know, double check with XG. Um, okay, then we have Backgammon for Profit by Joe Dweck. Joe Dweck was a famous player in the 70s, uh, introduced by Jim Slater. Right. Um, which one is this? Oh, here we go. Uh, Prince o Alexei uh, Obolensky and Ted James backgammon the action game. So uh, Prince Alexis Obolensky is the reason why there was a resurgence for backgammon in the 70s. Uh, he repopularized the game by starting uh, a tournament that they held in, I believe it was in the Bahamas um, every year. And that, uh, you know, led to a, a boom in, in, uh, people playing backgammon in the 70s. Um, so this is his book. This is the book that he wrote. Uh, again, uh, I, from what I, I hear, it's, you know, the, the, the stuff that he talks about in here is no longer recognized as being a good strategy, but it, as, from a historical perspective, I, I think it's interesting. And I just wanted it just being a collector. Okay. And the last one is, uh, again, another book that sort of um, inspired the um, the resurgence of backgammon in the 70s, which was this book by Oswald Jacobi and John Crawford. Uh, there's a these are the same Jacobi and Crawford that the Jacobi rule and the Crawford rule are taken after. Uh, this is the backgammon book. Um, so again, this is a actually nice pictures in here. Um, so the first part of the book is on the history of backgammon, and then you have you know some strategy and uh, positions puzzles you know game plans and so on in the the last part of the book so this is a this is one i definitely want to read through even though you know it's not the strategy is probably not uh considered to be um 
reliable these days, but it's an interesting book from the, just from the historical perspective. So yeah, a lot of these historical books I have just because, you know, I, I'm a collector. So, uh, and that's it. That's basically my, that's basically my backgammon uh, book collection. So let me turn the camera around here and I'll say goodbye to you guys. Let me just be careful so I don't hit the camera here. Okay, so just turn the camera around. All right, we uh, block the light so I'm not silhouetted. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like I said, I have uh, some uh, two shelves of chess books and uh, another shelf full of other uh, gaming books as well. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think below. Do you play backgammon? Do you have any other re book recommendations that you you found useful or resources? I'll, like I said, I'll put some of the resources that I use down below uh, if you're interested. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.